Dave, how does someone get the best job at Ford Motor Company? A little bit of being in the right place at the right time, like anything else. And it's also, I think, having the right skill set, having the right experiences along the way that enable you to lead a legend like this one. Experiences, where do you start to get to this job? I actually started in our manufacturing engineering, uh, one of our parts plants. Uh, and then I went to design engineering, so design and release engineer. I'm a mechanical engineer by trade. Then I went back to our manufacturing for a while, and then I've been in the studio. So I've done feasibility work in our studio, where we actually start you know, creating vehicles like this out of clay and doing all the feasibility work there. Uh, I've launched several of our vehicles. Um, I also have worked in our ele uh, electrical department. Uh, I've worked in our craftsmanship group. Uh, I worked as the platform chief engineer for our D-car platform, which is the Taurus MKS Flex. So the trend I'm getting here is the only job you haven't done at Ford is Mark Field's job. Well, Mark and I, you know, it's kind of funny because Mark, every time Mark sees me, he says, there's the guy with the best job in the company. And I tell him I think he has the best job. And then we, I think we've mutually agreed that his salary and my job is probably the best job in the company. I think that's the job I want, too. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to ask. You've done D-Car, you've done design, you've done engineering. Do you have a Mustang at home? I own three Mustangs of my own. Uh, a 1968 that I am personally restoring. So it's in the restoration phase, but uh, we're getting there. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. You know, I love to go just wrench on the cars. Uh, so I have that. I also have a 2000 Mustang GT convertible. Actually was the first brand new car I've ever purchased in my life. And, and that was before you had this job? Yeah, well, actually all of this was before I had the job. I do have a new one since I've had the job though, and that's the 2012 Boss Laguna Seca. See, so that's the car to have. Yeah. You know, I love that you're doing 650 horsepower in the GT500, but I'm telling you, the Boss 302 is the one. So, Mustang throughout its history has been about authentic and real. And as I work on my own cars, it just keeps reminding me that that's really what's essential to Mustang. So as we bring new features or new content to the new product, we make sure that they are functional, genuine, and real. An example of that would be the hood vents for the new 2013 Mustang. We wanted hood vents, we wanted to make sure that they were functional, and that kind of ties the hands of our studio a little bit because they have to put them in a very specific location to get negative pressure in order to pull heat from underneath the engine. So there's an example of where we knew we wanted them, but they had to be functional otherwise I wasn't going to put them on the So as the chief engineer of Mustang, I got to believe there are car guy decisions and there are bean counter decisions. Well, you always have the bean counters. We have to make money, right? But yeah, there's an example of where, you know, a car guy and bean counter might clash a little bit. It's on the rear end of this vehicle. So we have brand new LED tail lamps from 2013, and they are absolutely phenomenal tail lamps. They're probably the most expensive tail lamps in the company. I've never and seen someone so excited about tail lamps. I mean, you got to see these things. But I'll tell you, as we were developing them, the, uh, the finance community wanted to, you know, make sure uh, that I was doing the right thing. And I had to sit in front of Mr. Kuzak and explain to Derek what they were going to do and, and uh, sell them to Derek. And as I did that, Derek just made me promise him that they would be as fantastic as I said they were going to be because they do cost a lot of money. And when he saw them for the first time, he gave me a thumbs up and he said they're doing everything he said they were going to do. So that's an example of where, you know, sometimes we have a little bit of internal struggle, but that's good, right? Bringing new features to the, to the market, but doing it in a responsible way.